Thank you for joining me today. Welcome back to Country in the City, and my name is Sherry. And today I'm going to do part two of my Ray Dunn collection. And here we're starting in my kitchen. Um, and let's see, I have um, Ray Dunn Sunshine Bowl. That's the only bowl that I own that has color inside. I'm not a big fan of the color inside. And I have a collection of the Ray Dunn spoon rests in my um, in my tools crock here. And I'm just trying to see. That's the I just got that one. That's pretty sought after. It's very hard to find, and it is um, M stamped on the back just bought it from a local girl who was downsizing her collection actually I think she might be getting out of collecting altogether but um, that's pretty hard to find usually um, they have the Ray Dunn stamp like that so the ones that have the M stamp on it are kind of sought after and in addition to that I have never in the years I've been collecting have not seen a feast spoon rest so um, for those two reasons that M stamp was uh, n has not been put on Ray Dunn products after um, late 2016. I think um, it was like the um, late summer, um, early fall things was the last that had that on it. And then that winter items for Ray Dunn in 2016 had the regular Ray Dunn stamp on it. Well, let's continue here. I have the, um, this is a pinch dash divided dish for Ray, from Ray Dunn, and I keep my whole walnuts in it, as you see there. I like to snack on those, and I crack them. I use the walnuts and cookies and that. Um, I don't think, yeah, I don't have any down there. My dogs, um, do have the yum, the, that's the extra large, um, water bowl for my two pups. Um. And then also for my dogs, I have the wolf canister and the good dog canister. Now there's quite a few other dog canisters um, out there and of course cat canisters. But, um, you know, how many canisters do you need for your dogs? Um, excuse my bins here. I have all my autumn and fall things out. I'm getting ready to start um, pulling that out and seeing what I have and decorating. Um, little by little. Um, let's see what else. Okay, here, um, this is the, if you watch the part one that I did yesterday, that I filmed yesterday, I told you that I have um, a mug tree that I put um, mugs on about a dozen at a time. And so um, this is the mug tree and I put, you know, 12 mugs at a time and I rotate them out. And, um, and then I have a devourable, oh, pardon, my son just came home from work. You know, puppies are excited, but then I have a devourable here that I keep, um, drink things in here, convenient. So when we get a drink, a bottle of water or fill our to-go cups up with water, we can add something to it. And then here I have, um, uh, most of my large letter canisters flour coffee snacks sweets sugar this is the extra large sugar and this is the regular size sugar this is considered the large the small um sugar is the sugar bowl and um that was on my video last night that's in one of my hutches in the dining room but this is considered the large sugar and this is considered the extra large I don't know why they call them that, but that's just what they've been dubbed by the collectors um, online. If you go on the different Debot, Mercari, eBay, and even on the Ray Dunn um, pages on Facebook and, and uh, Instagram. But, yep, I use them all. There's something in every one of them. Now, my flour, I don't use for my flour, um, only because I bake so much and... Um, I am, you know, I go through bags of flour, so um, I keep it in a, a very large um, airtight uh, Tupperware container, so um, it's 
large. It will hold over a five pound bag. So, um, but yeah, these are my canisters. And really, in all reality, I could go for um, another coffee canister. This one right now has ground coffee in it. But as you can see, I have a Keurig. So my Keurig um, cups, K-cups, are kept in the cupboard. But I really could do another coffee canister because we are big coffee drinkers in this house. And um, so... You know, we, I like different, you know, pumpkin spice coffee and that. But, yeah, I switch out my um, my mugs on this quite often, every few weeks or so. Um, this is the only script writing um, mug that I have. My daughter bought me that, so I just love it. And I love the color on the inside. It's actually very fallish. <laughs> and... Um, I own a few mugs with color on the inside. This is one of the summer, large letter summer mugs. It says play on it. But, um, I did forget to show you last night uh, my collection. I showed you my collection of ovals, but last night I forgot to show you my collection that I have here in my cupboard. And so I didn't want to leave this out, and I wanted to come and show you what I have here. I do have... Um, the Thankful for Pie pie dish from 2017. Um, I also have a misprint. And I guess people are pretty, they're looking for this. This is made by Magenta. However, it was um, marked or done by Magenta. So I don't know who the actual, um, I don't know who the actual um Manu well, the manufacturer was Magenta, but I don't know who the creator of this was, actually. But there were a few items like that. I know one of the rule. I think the rulers um, were, if I remember rightly, they were mismarked as, as Ray Dunn, and they're really not Ray Dunn. The yellow ruler and the white ruler. Um, I remember reading on several sites that Ray Dunn said they were not hers. Um, I do have some of the Nutcracker. Um, the Christmas Nutcracker items. Um, and I have been tossing around the idea of selling these. I have four square plates and three oval plates. And I have the canister right there. And then the divided dish. And I have a hip-hop canister back there. And um, I think that's a bridesmaid mug. And I have a couple other mugs back there. And these are the Christmas divided dishes, just like this one. But they have like Merry Xmas and Bah Humbug and things like that. Um, and then here I have, sorry, and then the, here I have um, Christmas mugs and I have odds and end mugs here. The very sought after happy birthday mug and Valentine's mugs. And then I have some others, you know, I have like Mrs. I have some odds and ends in there, but um, hi Leia, puppy Leia. And then um, here, this is very sought after. My daughter got me this for Christmas last year. Isn't that adorable? This is the Snowman Cocoa Pot. It says let it snow on the back. And let me see if I can turn it upside down and show you. There's also a teapot that matches it. And if you notice, the cookie in this matches the cookie on the boutique cookie canister um, that you see on Bebop and Mercari and on in Facebook um, that you have to pre-order when you do when you do order. But um, yep, that's my collection. I believe I've showed you just about everything. Of course, one of these days I'll take out all the mugs and. We can go through those. If that's something you'd like to see, then just let me know. And we can do that. Or the platters or, you know, the things that I have multiples of. I'd be happy to do that. But you all have a good day. And I um, hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video and want to see more similar to this of my collections, just let me know in the comments below. And please, um, I, I would be uh, thrilled if you would um, subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you can see my videos when they pop up and um, you all have a good day and come back and see me now. Thank you.